Aquarius, I hope you're ready for your karmic journey. The karmic journey of July 2022, brought to you by yours truly, Dadichi. Good to see you again. I hope those of you that are new are going to um, just hang in there, just put your seatbelt on, and uh, we're going to take a little ride through your karma and see what's happening. And I do that by animating the chart so we can see especially what's going on. And I think it's important to note that uh, there's a lot of activity here under the horizon of your solar chart. Have a look under here. And the important transit that I would point out to you is this is this lower Mars hitting the IC, the lower part of the chart. And on the 5th of July, making its way here into the domestic zone of your horoscope. Oh, you're going to have to bite your tongue. That can be troublesome. Mars is not your friendliest planet. From a personal point of view, it is your career planet. Have a look at it. It rules Scorpio here. And it rules this third house of communications. And on the 5th of July, there it is there. Ready, set, go. Bing. Bang. Bong. Whatever onomatopoeia you want to use, it's it can spell a little bit of trouble there in the 4th house. Dealings with your family members, you know, I'd probably say... Hello, Ma, uh, Dad, I'm going to be away for a couple of weeks. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. That's the way to handle it. You need to be away. Don't interact too much. It's likely to be quite volatile as Mars makes its way through there, especially, look, you see the moon making an opposition aspect there on the 9th. But it's not all doom and gloom, Aquarius, I'm happy to say. We need to... Keep an eye on that moon. It moves through your 10th house there on the 10th, making contact with the south node as it does every month for now. Moves to the 11th house. The important transit is going to occur here in your 12th house as it moves out of this zone of friendship around the 11th and the 12th. And then on the 14th, it is going to make a very, very deep, spiritual, secretive, nostalgic, whatever you want to call it, full moon connection with pluto here in this 12th house i need to give you that strange look to make you feel oh my god this is profound yes aquarius it is profound this is transformative look at it there it is 14th opposite mercury and the sun four planets playing out this full moon in your 12th house of spirituality the moon for you, it rules your sixth house. So there's a saying that when that sixth ruler is in the twelfth, it's good for finances. Unfortunately, it's full. So you may take receipt of money, but end up forking out at the same time. And you may be compelled to do so as a result of that connection with Pluto. The 18th of July is another important date. Coming up here on your screen. Look at that. The 18th is when Venus here, having been in the fifth house of love affairs, moves into your sixth house. This shows a need to beautify your work in, working space. A need to work with people who are more aligned with some of your values. On the 19th, there may be communication surrounding that as we see Mercury move to the seventh house of your horoscope. If you've had contentious relationships with your co-workers, this could be a time where perhaps you're working in a, in a business where you're able to slip out of those contentious situations into a sideways uh, position that is with people who are, you know, nicer to you. Uh, it is also a time to look at, you know, working on your lifestyle generally. The sixth house has to do with your habits, good and bad. The sun moves to the sign of Leo on the 23rd. And I should mention that these two planets are important. They activate the deeper, more committed relationships in your life. The sun for you is indeed ruling the seventh house of Leo, which is your committed relationships. This can stabilize your love life if you're in a relationship it can bring about a better 
communication shown by Mercury. And this can lead up to the next important transit that I want to talk about. And that is the movement of the moon here into its new moon phase on the 29th. That's very, very, very important. Because we've seen the two planets here, Mercury and the Sun, bringing your attention and communication and connectedness to your loved one. And then a new opportunity arises. It may not be on that date, but certainly the new moon shifts gear, causes you to move into a different direction. It can dramatically alter the way the relationship has been moving, especially if you've been in a stalemate. That's likely too, because we've talked quite a bit about this transit of retrograde Saturn fully impacting that area. Later next month, I'm going to talk about how that's going to play out when the sun swings around here and moves into the opposition aspect. You're just going to have to tune in and wait for that. I'm going to keep you in suspended terror, Aquarius. So do join me uh, for more action on the Aquarius karmic front. That'll be next month. In the meantime, pop on over to astrology.com.au. You're going to get a little bit more information on what's going on here in your transits. Come back, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell your friends. I'm here if you want to tell me something. Be more than happy to respond. And I'm going to be waiting for you with more on your karmic balance sheet next month, Aquarius. Take care.